Today we're in Bradford on a very well known site, Eccles Hill. Um, it's been well dug over the years. There's not a great deal left of it. It's been dug and levelled and levelled again. Uh, why I've come here is, uh, I don't know if you can see the sign. Basically the site's up for auction uh, at the end of this week and I think that'll spend the spell the end of the digging on here. Uh, it's a shame it did come up for sale a bit a few years back when there were more fresh digging on it. We might put a bid in. So I'm gonna give it a dig. Uh, found a bit of fresh. It's about nine, ten foot here. So quite an easy steady dig. Biggest problem I've got it's half term and kids are on holiday so time they get out of bed and drag themselves away from the playstations they'll be coming to torment me so I'll get on with it and hopefully get a few finds out before the hoodies arrive Right, done about an hour and it's looking not bad. Uh, as I told you before, this site has been well well dug in the past, and levelled and flattened time and time again. But what I've got there, uh, I don't know how clear you can see it on camera, but if you can see there, it's that yellow clay. That's a capping. It isn't the natural bottom. What's happened years ago, people have skimmed round on top about three or four foot deep got to that and thought it were the bottom well it isn't um, it goes down about another six foot under there there'll be about a foot of that capping hopefully and about four or five foot of ash which is a bit older than the stuff on the top obviously uh, so what I'll do I'll just try a little corner in there make sure it is going through uh, and then we'll take him down further Right, just got through the clay and oh it's a nice sight to see a bit of a ginger beer the bad news is there's a big crack running through it deep joy oh, well. <laughs> that makes crack a bit more acceptable but Certainly signs of summer, 1920, it's not as old as I thought, but it's a beginning. Right, it's just after dinner. Uh, I've just about got to bottom, oh, nearly fell in. Uh, just about top bottom there. Miscalculated, it's actually about 11 foot. It does look deeper on camera actually, it's usually the other way around, but that's about 11 foot. Uh, finds a few and far between, nothing of any interest other than a cracked egg cup with some guy sporting a really good moustache. General Sir. Red Viz Buller. That's the right tash is that. So we've got to do now, just plod on and hope we can uh, spawn some out. There's no seam on bottom whatsoever at all. Uh, it's a nice early looking bottle, serif writing. Quite big, they're usually a bit smaller than that. So there are a few bits in, but nothing great. Chasing down for an hour, a few nice little bits. Uh, the usual dross, but seems like a bit of a meat based day today. Uh, I've had a few broken ones. Uh, it's a Wilson's, there's quite a few of them. Uh, if you can see that, J H and J Weir confectioners. Bradford. So there are a few bits coming out. Uh, 
Well, if you can see, we're ratting about under that capping. Have to keep getting out. Have to keep getting out and throwing ash off top, which is a pain in the ass. But when things are coming out, you'll try it and you'll do well. Right, in the day, and not a right lot else. Absolutely stacks of bottles as far as the eye can see. Uh, take you through a few of them. Milk glass medicine. Uh, cod bottle from Pudse. Seen that already. Uh, seems to be in an egg cup day today. Cobalts, the usual bits and bats, I don't know, that's quite a nice little design on it, but sadly it's cracked in the neck, I don't know if it'll be in a sauce or something, it's got some like vines twizzled round. All the usual mullock, broken little feeder from London, sadly smacked. Sauces. Galore. It's all in all not a bad day. I uh, don't think I'll be coming back. I think it's the best of it you now. As I say, it's up for auction next on Thursday, Friday, I think. I think the new owners won't be as lenient as last lot. And I think that'll be as lot for digging on here. 